Yeah, Nizar Aboud of Al Mayadeen Television in Lebanon. Uh, my question is regarding the Arab Spring's impact on the uh, agriculture and food stability in the Middle East and North Africa. I mean, over the last three years, of course, we had a lot of turbulences in this <coughs> region. And this it's a va very vast area. Uh, definitely there are some, some impact on that, uh, on agriculture there. Uh, well, you know, I, I actually, actually, you have to look at this again from another another perspective as well. You, you remember, if, if you if you have followed the the, the issue, the crisis that we're looking at here, uh, when you refer to the Arab Spring in uh, Libya, in uh, Syria, and in Egypt, this region experienced extreme drought over a two, over a two year period, which devastated the agricultural systems of the rural areas, and there was mass migration into the into the, into the urban areas, to the capitals. And if you look at this, actually the impact of severe droughts, consequences of climate change, how it impacts on the migration of people who depend on agriculture for their livelihoods, both economically as well as for employment, migrating to the urban areas. And you can add that together and see whether it, uh, droughts, climate change, migration, urban unrest can lead to political instability and global destabilization. So we believe that this issue, that is why we believe at IFAD that we cannot be looking at climate change by itself independently without factoring it into the whole development process. And for us, it involves a global action. And that's why we're very happy about the Secretary, Secretary General's climate, uh, climate Summit that took place last month. And if you had been there, you will have seen the level of commitment by governments and by the civil society. I think that's a major thrust, a major, 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 major uh, progress forward, and we fully support it. And I think addressing this as a global issue, we can begin to look at how we can not only stabilize uh, this migration as, as well as contributing to food security across nations and across regions. So I understand you that you attribute the Arab Spring as a result of the drought and no, the, the aridity. No, it, it, it contributed to it because it resulted in migration.